Hey everybody, it's James Topo with Zotopo.com, and I have a special treat for everybody out there. Uh, the wonderful guys at Protopasta uh, have a Kickstarter going on right now, and they sent me a sample of some of their new filament. Uh, so I finally got a chance to try it out, specifically the PLA with carbon fibers impregnated in it, and it is a very impressive material. Uh, it prints like PLA, but it is way stiffer and rigid, way more rigid. Uh, in fact, I don't know if you can see this, but it has a really nice matte finish, and hopefully you can hear this. It, it's it's got a solid sound to it. it. It's the best way I can demonstrate how the print comes out. Uh, actually, for an example, I have here a camera cap, which is very similar. So if you have a uh, DSLR or a camera cap around. Take a look at it and feel the solid parts, and it is a very similar finish and, and uh, material once it's printed. But actually, you can hear that the uh, the proto pasta is a little bit more solid, obviously because there's no mechanicals built into it. Um, I also printed out. I don't know if you guys can see this. A little rhinoceros. Pretty cool little wall figure. Uh, the reason I went with this is to see how well it bridged uh, and just the, the rigidity and it is a very solid piece. Uh, it bridges very well. I will say the cleanup's a little bit more difficult because it's such a rigid material. It does not clean up as easily as regular PLA, but that's the trade-off you get for having a more dense material. And theoretically, this is lighter than PLA just by itself. Unfortunately, I don't have any PLA to compare this to right now. But if you're looking for a material to print things in that are lighter, more rigid, uh, I definitely suggest you check out their Kickstarter. They also have two other materials, a high-temp PLA as well as a polycarbonate ABS, which unfortunately I have not set up to print just yet, but hopefully soon I will be because I think that that's going to be an even more cool material or impressive material to print with. So if you guys have any questions, please go hit up the guys on Kickstarter. I'll have the link in the comments and uh, check them out. I think they have a really good product and they're really pushing things forward in the uh, open source 3D printing industry.